hi guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel this is me alicia if this is your first time here and if not welcome back all right guys welcome back to another episode in our shopping while curvy series this one's probably one of my favorites only because i, I needed to get some things i love h&m for some nice resort vacay rare anyway let me do a quick round robin with what i have on and then we'll get into the video all right so yeah i have a new hair and new. i was just i'm in my protective style era i love my curls but then being on my neck, it's not going to work this summer. So she's doing twist this month. She's doing faux locks the month after that. She's doing braids the, <laughs> the month after that. I do um, have a tutorial on not only the twist that I did, but also like me putting the jewelry in them. So I'll make sure to leave those below. Um, what else? The jewelry. So let's get into the jewelry. These are available also in gold. They're not on the site yet. <laughs> Well, I'll try to make sure they'll be on the side by the time this video comes out. Um, Genevieve necklace, Chrissy necklace in silver, Roxy, let's get a little closer, Roxy ring, restock. This is a shine ring restock. This is a new one that I'm obsessed with. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. So I just got it in silver. I immediately ordered it in gold. So I'll make sure to link the exact details to all the jewelry that I have. And then this shirt is from Hennes and Maritz H&M. That we're doing the video on today okay let's get into it all right so yeah so shopping walk her series today is on h&m aka henna's and my rates and i don't know about you but i'm always into the history of the fashion i don't know why so i started looking up h&m i kind of knew a little bit about like the henna's and my and so it actually started as just being Hennes, the um, owner who's, this is based in Sweden, I can't remember his name, but he decided to name the store Hennes because it was uh, just a woman's store. So Hennes is Swedish for hers. Later on down the line, he did buy a sporting goods store and the name of that was like Marit something something, I can't remember. And so he renamed his stores Hennes and Marit's. He later realized later down the line, hey, it's a lot harder to say. Let's just call it H&M. So that's where that came from. Based in Sweden, they have stores all over, men's, women, kids, home. Y'all tell me why. And I think I mentioned it in the London vlog. We were in London and this was the day before we were getting ready to leave and we're just going down Oxford Street because it's a long street and we veer off of it to try to find something. And I find an H&M home and it's huge. It's not I want to say like two or three floors just for the home section and it was in that moment that I realized wow we in the, U the United States we literally get the bare minimum because we like my H&M that we have two here in Birmingham there's no home and none of them I had to go all the way to New Orleans to realize oh my god they do have a nice H&M home section so there's a section in the store in New Orleans this was an entire store just for H&M home and if I didn't have to deal with the logistics of buying it taking it to whatever shipping stores they had in London and shipping it back I I would have did that I didn't even go in the store because I'm just like I'm not going to go in the store I'm not going to be upset I'm just going to have to come back I'm going to have to come back you had a two or three floor H&M home and we get a little section in bigger stores there's no there's nothing here Anywho, so <laughs> so there's not much that I don't buy from H&M. There are some things that I kind of, there are some things that I prefer to buy in the store versus online and we'll get into that. Um, but yeah, there's not much that I don't buy from H&M. So let's just get into, I did make a, a purchase recently, including the shirt that I got. So we're going to go through some of my purchases. I'll go through, because I bought quite a few items. So I'll go through the items that I tried on and decided to keep. And then that I tried on and I'm going to send back and my reasons for sending them back. I think that's a good, a good, uh, like route to go for this video because like i said there's not much besides 100 percent cotton but i've really been avoiding that period so there's not much that i don't buy from h&m so try on haul keep it returned it why did i return it let's get into it okay so we're going to start with the shirt that i have on i don't think that i have a try on but there's nothing fancy it is comes like this so it's just a basic shirt i really well not basic it's like a nice printed shirt i think i just like the pattern on here i love a good black and white pattern shirt i was upset because i did want to get the matching um pants to this and they didn't have it in my size they were sold out so love this i realized in my closet that when it comes to like blouses i don't either they're either sleeveless or they're long sleeve i didn't really have any like short sleeve shirts and i was like i'm either gonna be 
extremely cold, extremely hot. <laughs> so I've been on the market for some short sleeve shirts. So if you see in the next couple of like shopping while curvy series, me having some like short sleeve blouse, just know that I'm trying to fill a hole in my closet because I realized I didn't have any. So this is one of the things that I love to buy from them, just like their blouses. I did get this in a medium because depending on how their blouses fit, sometimes they can fit a little oversized. So I like to do a medium in their blouses. So love this one. Um, okay, so one thing that I ended up, am going to end up taking back is this um, dress and it's my fault. I really love this dress. I got this dress a, a while ago and it was in a medium because normally for H&M dresses, I can fit a medium because sometimes they fit big. This was not the case, so I had to send it back. And so when I saw it was on sale again, all they had was a 2X. And so I got it thinking, oh, I'll just wear it oversized. And I'll pop it up here. And this, because I've already unzipped, unbuttoned it, I'll pop it up here. This isn't the type of dress that you can wear that oversized. I think I probably could have done maybe an extra large. I'm probably thinking I needed, wow, that lighting just went bad really quickly. One second. Oh, that's better. Um, I think I could do a large. Point is the 2X was entirely too big. And there are some dresses, like I said, I like to wear oversized because I don't like anything that touched you know be sitting on the fupa area but this one was just it just didn't look good it didn't look good in the front it didn't look good in the back it was like eh. all right one thing that i bought and kept and i was so concerned was this caftan y'all i'll put it up here tell me that caftan doesn't say vacation vibes like i saw it and i was like i don't care what size i have to get i'm getting it so i clicked on it and all they had were extra smalls and smalls and i put that i put it in the car i said hopefully it works and this is what I'm saying. This is a small, extra small, and it fits. And so I love this thing. I, I, it's this down here for me. It's it's so beautiful. I also love that it completely unbuttons. That's another thing that I normally don't like straight caftans that don't button all the way down because I want to be able to wear it as like a nice summer cardigan with like some shorts and a, and a tank or something. I want to be able to wear it multiple ways. And lately I've been seeing a lot of caftans that don't button all the way down. So I love that this one not only shows the buttons, but it actually does unbutton all the way down. So if I ever, not ever, I'm going to. So when I want to wear it as like a nice summer cardigan uh, or like a nice summer kimono, I can do that. I This is probably, I don't know, it's going to be a tie. I'll show you guys the other one, but I think this is going to be a tie. But this is probably one of my favorite uh, purchases and I purchased quite a few pieces. I want to say I got like 10. So yeah, this is a keeper. Keep, keep, wear immediately. Okay, let's keep going with that. All right, so the next thing that came up um, I have is I wanted to get this dress as, like I said, for vacation. It said a swimsuit dress. So what I envision wearing, like I said, we have a lot of beach trips coming up. I wanted to be able to put on my bathing suit and then go to like a nice lunch, not a fancy lunch, but like a nice restaurant to have lunch and then immediately be able to go over to the beach without, without having to like come back, put on my bathing suit and stuff like that. So I did get this um dress in an extra large i'm still on the fence about it i had it in the take back pile but i mean i don't know i had it in the take back pile but maybe it's because i tried it on and i didn't have a bathing suit under it i tried it on with just uh my penny and bra that i had on and i didn't like that you could see the rolls but then i started thinking you're not going to see them because i'm going to have my bathing suit under it so i don't know now that i have talked myself into it i might hold on to it um, I really wish that I should have gotten it in a black because maybe black would have been better But I was just I didn't want to wear black to the beach I don't I like to avoid wearing like like all black to the beach I did get this in an extra large so the fit is amazing the fit fits great It's just the the very deep back part that I wasn't I wasn't absolutely sold on But like I said, I don't wear two pieces. I'll wear one pieces. So y'all have an empty hanger I think we're gonna hang this up. I think this is gonna be a keeper if not, I'm at least going to go and try it on with a one piece because I think I want to keep that. I think that might be a keeper. Let's move on. All right, next up, this is a take back and I really wanted to love this dress. So I'll pop up the model. It looks great on the model. I really wanted to love this dress and I think it's a combination of I'm short, I'm a uh, uh, heavier at the bottom it's just something about it didn't fit the way I wanted it to fit and I have an event coming up um, in August 
no September and I wanted to be able to wear this dress because like I said I y'all know me I love a good ruching so I love the ruching in here it just I don't know I can't really put my finger on it why does it keep doing that there we go that's better um, I can't really put my finger on it. I got a large. So the fit, the actual dress, I was able to pull it up. Fits amazing. All the things. It's just, I don't know. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. There's something about it, right, that I just couldn't, I didn't love it. And that's where I'm trying to, if it, I don't love it and I'm not obsessed with it, I'm not going to get it. Because I was reading a magazine on the way back from, um, uh, a little mini road trip me and William had took and it was like how do you decide what goes and what comes in your closet and one of the styling experts was like if you don't immediately like fall in love with it when you first try it on whether that's at home if you do an online purchase or in the fitting room if you don't immediately fall in love with it don't get it because you're not going to wear it and so when I put it on I wasn't like ee! like I was with this like I was, I was giddy with this. I wasn't giddy with this. I was like, mm-mm, I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna put it back and keep trying. So this was a, this was a, that's a return. All right, next up we have a keeper. We have a keeper, we have a keeper, we have a keeper, we have a keeper. I'm obsessed with this dress. I have been, I think, I can't, I wanna say it may have been Hilo Lux. Well, what's her, Janae Naylor, formerly Hilo Lux. Um, I, it might be her, I can't really remember who it was that was like, I want to wear my nice dresses casually. And it hit me, I'm just like, I have like so many nice dresses that I just save because I'm like, uh, it's not the type, I'm just simply going out. I've been, I've been in my maxi dress sandal bag and I'm here for it. I got this maxi dress while we were, I was in Chattanooga. I wore that dress almost as soon as we got back with like some nice casual, casual like sandals and it was a vibe so anyway so I got this rib knit dress it is strapless it is everything I love it I did get it in a large y'all I love this dress so much I love this dress so much I, I need to get back focused um it's nice I feel like it's nice and it's heavy but it's not too heavy for the summer let me see if it'll have the fabric makeup it is uh, duh of course I knew there was a reason why I love this it is 70% vicos and 30% polyester. I knew there was a reason why I love this dress so much. I love this dress. In case you can't tell, she's a keeper. Did I tell you I'm wearing this? I did get this in a large. Um, I did try to go back online to see if they had other colors. They didn't in my size, so I'm just keeping this. But it is, y'all, it's everything. And then did you, do you see the bottom? You see the way the bottom like kind of does a little flare thing? You can dress this up with like some block sandals and everything, but in my head, I want to dress it down with just some sandals and a ball cap. That's gonna be so nice. I can't wear a ball cap with this right now, but that's my vision. Or like some sandals and like a scarf. Oh, it's so nice. Anyway, this is a keeper. All right, next up, uh, which is a return, and this isn't normally the case. So I did go online and try to order some jeans. I normally never order jeans from H&M because I can't tell the fit. Sometimes they say curvy, but then they don't really be curvy. So I love to really buy my H&M jeans in the store so I can try them on before I leave. But I was like, all right, let me just tr get a pair. So I did get a pair. It said baggy, wide, loose fit, midways. I got a 12 because that's been my 12. That's been my size. Like I'm a 12 in Zara. So if I'm a 12 in Zara, I should be a 12 anywhere else because y'all know how Zara sizing works. I got a 12. I don't even know if I recorded this because it looked a mess. I barely can put them over my waist. Once I finally did and I put them mid waist, they were like... They weren't like the cute crop look. It looked like high waters. And I saw the model and then I saw me and then I saw the model and I saw me and I said, this can't be the same pair of pants. It can't be. So these are going back. <laughs> they looked nice on the model and I'll show y'all the model. I don't even know if I would press record for y'all to see me, but just know, just picture, just picture a hot mess and then go times two. And that's what I look like with these jeans. So these are going back. All right, next up, I have this, like I said, y'all, I'm, I'm in my dress sandals era, so I picked up this uh, long, it's like a gray, I have it inside out. Alicia, hello. I thought you were supposed to be ready for this video. <sighs> Get yourself together. Did y'all hear that? That's thunder. I gotta hurry up. <laughs> I got this gray contrast dress. <sighs> I got so the what I did get 
and I liked I got so many good pieces so I did get this in an extra large because I saw it on the model it was kind of a little a little fitted and I didn't want it to fit fitted so I did get it in an extra large and it fits perfectly it hits at all the right spaces it's long enough uh for reference and I'll put them in the description box but I am five four and a half give me my half inch and so I love the way that this that this feels it's also oh let's check the makeup there's Vicos in this I can tell by the way it feels I can tell let's see 96% polyester oh four percent elastane my other favorite material you see how it like bounces like that it's like a nice bouncy material um yeah i love it i love it of course this is a keeper i got so many good pieces i don't know if i can give you guys my favorite all right this should be the last dress i did get quite a few dresses um i wanted this dress to work out 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 but it's something about the bottom of this dress that just doesn't hit it for me it's i'll pop it up here it's something about it i love the knit the rib knit that they have going on up here see that's nice it's like a rib knit crochet it kind of if i'm being honest with you it kind of reminds me of the free people dress that i um wore i think you guys would have seen it in the chattanooga um travel vlog it reminds me of that so why did i get this because as i'm looking at it it basically is my free people dress maybe the the sleeves on this one are a little bit thinner and the free people at least comes to right here. Well, Alicia, why did you buy this dress? Anyway, it's going back. All right, my last no, and then we'll get into my last yes. Um, I wanted to love this. This is just a maxi skirt. I really want to get into the maxi skirt era, but I'm having a hard time finding what material works best to help hide the fupa, help accentuate the curves but not too much and then hits at my ankle it's a struggle you know it's a lot i feel like that that's a lot of like stipulation so i got this hoping that it did it did not um the material makeup on this is five percent polyester 95 polyester five elastane so i thought it would hit but there's just something about it that i tell you what i and i maybe i'll pop it up here you see this right here this ruching you can't adjust it like this this is just for show like this is for show and i wish that they had it for us to be able to make this tighter because i think let me scoot over i think if we're able to adjust that and it gives us just a little bit more elevation in the skirt i feel like that would be great but because you can't adjust this it just looks it looks like it's not supposed to be there it looks like it instead of it so the point I feel of ruching is to help hide your whatever imperfections you have going on, but then also call, draws attention to that item, like that area on your body. So for me, this ruching is supposed to hide the fupa, but then accentuate like it. You're immediately drawn to that area, so it accentu accentuates your like hips and your waist. This don't do that. It draws attention to it, but because it doesn't hide it. It was like you can clearly tell the food paws there it's not doing what it needs to do on hips and the thighs i wanted to love this so bad and i didn't so it has to go back it has to go back so that is one two three four five pieces that i am sending back the last piece that i am not sending back that i think this is going to be my favorite piece vacation wise you guys know i don't know if you know or not you might be new here welcome um but when i'm on vacation i'm a color girly i legit and you can ask kiosha i have a box in my garage that legit just says vacation looks and it's all the color that i possibly ever have in my closet because when i'm on vacation she's wearing color she's wearing purple she's wearing pink she's wearing yellow she's doing the things because i like to live in color on vacation any other day neutral girl me but i got i found this dress this skirt y'all this skirt let me let me let me show you the coup de gras fringe honey fringe fringe i love this skirt i love this skirt so much they did also have it in black and i really wanted to get it in black but then i realized that i'm not going to wear it on vacation because i try to avoid 100 percent black on vacation um, and I don't really see myself wearing it here on like a day-to-day -day thing. I just, mm, it didn't really stick, tickle my fancy. But this, this lime with the fringe, 
I'm here for it. I did get a US 10 and it fits. Y'all see it. It fits to perfection. I cannot wait to wear this. I'll, I probably envision wearing this with just a simple white tank. I got some really, really nice, um, like thick strap tanks that I got from Express. Love the quality on those. I'll link them below if you're interested. Um, that and then maybe either some block heels if we're going to dinner or if we're just walking around the streets of wherever we are, I'll probably just wear it with some sandals. I just really love this skirt. This is officially added to like the vacation only and I'm here for it. I feel like that's pretty good. More keeps than returns. Did y'all hear that thunder? Let's wrap this up. Like I said before, there's not much that I haven't or I don't buy from H&M. Family shops there, we love H&M. There is some stuff that I prefer to buy in the store, i.e. the jeans. I also prefer to buy their loungewear and their swimwear in the store versus buying it online because I don't want to be able to see it. I want to be able to like make sure it fits, all that kind of stuff. But I will link everything that I showed in this video, both the keeps for those that want to keep it and then the returns because maybe something that I don't like you love. So I'll be sure to put all those in there. So, if you have made it this far in the video, you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Um, normally, I would say see you Thursday at 7 because I normally do vlogs on Thursdays. There will be no vlog this Thursday. The kiddo started daycare. Uh, it's been a week and we're, we're recovering. He's, he's getting a little better, but there was no vlog. She was, I was in full mommy mode this past week. So there'll be no vlog on Thursday. So the next video will be Sunday at seven and then we'll pick up the vlogs again next Thursday. All right. Okay. So see you guys Sunday, seven o'clock later.